What's up guys, welcome back to yet another review video. In this video, we'll review Oxygen OS 11.0.1.1 for OnePlus 7 series, which is the latest build of Oxygen OS based on Android 11 for OnePlus 7 series. And it's been one week I've been using this build. So in this video, we'll focus more on bugs, battery backup, performance part, and camera part. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as you can see here, this is my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I am running the latest build of Oxygen OS which is 11.0.1.1. In our every video, most of the users have been asking me about my wallpapers which I use in those particular videos. So if you guys want the wallpaper, you guys can join our telegram group where after every video, I will upload the wallpapers which I have been using on my device. I know most of the users have been waiting for always on display on OnePlus 7 series but that has been confirmed by OnePlus that always on display won't be added on OnePlus 7 series in upcoming days or in future. But still if you guys want to have always on display, you can anytime root your device and get that feature working on your particular devices. Yesterday I created a poll asking you guys what all issues you have been facing on your OnePlus 7 series. And most of the users have been reporting issues related to battery backup on their devices. So guys let me clear one thing. Battery backup depends on tons of factors and that won't be similar for every individual. So I can't say much about battery backup but still you can check out what SOT I've been getting on my device when I'll cover the battery portion. Almost 90% of the issues have been taken care by OnePlus on this latest build. So currently there are no major bugs to be seen on latest build of Oxygen OS for OnePlus 7 series. But if you guys are still facing any kind of major issues then I would recommend you guys to perform a factory reset. And I won't suggest you guys to perform factory reset from the settings panel. Instead of that, I would recommend you guys to perform factory reset from recovery option. Because most users were performing factory reset from settings and still they were not able to get rid of the bugs. But there are also few users who have performed factory reset using recovery and now they are happy with the performance of their device. So if you guys are not aware about how to perform factory reset from recovery, you just have to go to settings under about section Tap on build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. Once you are done with that, go to system, developer options and from here you need to enable advanced reboot. Now long press on the power key, tap on these three dots and select recovery. But before this, make sure to take an entire backup of your device. Once your device boots into recovery, select language, go to wipe data and caches and from here you need to select erase everything. So this will wipe user data partition and once you wipe user data partition, this will help you get better performance and less buggy Android 11 on your OnePlus 7 series. And after this latest update, OnePlus have completely messed up with the dialer. So here you can see the font size of dialer have been reduced a lot and same goes with the calling screen. But for this we have a temporary fix. You can go to settings, display, under advanced display. You need to change the resolution of your device from QHD plus to Full HD. This is only happening when you are using your device in QHD resolution. So let me switch to Full HD and now let me show you the dialer. And here you can see, you will be easily able to change the size of the dialer. And same thing goes with the calling screen. After changing the resolution, you can clearly see a difference in calling screen too. So this is the temporary workaround until OnePlus comes with a fix. Gallery is again a major issue on Oxygen OS 11. You consider any device. Gallery still takes few seconds to load the images. And we are exactly not sure when OnePlus gonna optimize their gallery application. I also went through your comments on our community tab and our previous video of Oxygen OS for OnePlus 7 series. In that most of the users have been reporting issues related to gallery. So currently we don't have any kind of fixes for this. We just need to wait for OnePlus to come up with an update or more optimized gallery application. Few users have also been reporting about the charging issues on this latest build. But I personally did not find any kind of issues related to charging. My device takes the exact time which is approximately 1 hour 22 to 25 minutes to completely charge from 0 to 100. If you guys are facing slow charging issues on your device then I would request you guys to check the connections or damage of charging cable. Because till now on this latest build I haven't faced any kind of slow charging issues on my OnePlus 7 Pro. And few users have also been reporting issues related to the ambient display. That pick up to wake gesture is not working. But that's not the case on my OnePlus 7. As you can see here, that works fine on my device. And along with that, no issues to be seen with double tap to wake. 
and yes double tap to wake sometimes creates issue in low lighting conditions and this was the issue on the previous builds too how many of you guys are facing double tap to wake issue in low lighting condition let me know in the comment section below i have also seen few comments related to low notification sound and softer haptic feedback and this change i think oneplus had done intentionally with android 11 based on the user feedback even i have noticed low sound output while playing youtube videos or any other music application and due to which it have also affected the notification sound and if i had to talk about haptic feedback then i personally don't have any kind of issues with it i personally like this softer haptic feedback on my device and once again it completely depends on the person to person what are your thoughts about this softer haptic feedback do let me know in the comment section below and there's an OnePlus 7 user who also noticed slight delay in opening about section from the settings panel and after seeing his comment i personally checked it out let me show you that so here you can see here we have the about section first i'll open the system section and then i'll open about section you guys will see slightly delay in opening about section so let's open up system first and there we go now let's open up about section and i think there is a bit delay in opening about section once again we'll check it out and now about section i'm not sure if you guys are able to notice that delay but yes after that user informed me about this issue i personally was able to notice this delay there are few users who have been complaining about alert slider issue so guys there are no issues related to alert slider on this particular build if your alert slider is not working then there might be a hardware issue I also cross checked with few of my friends having OnePlus 7 series and they also confirmed that there are no issues with the alert slider. Few users were also complaining about delay in the call notification. On my OnePlus 7 Pro, I don't see any kind of delays in the calls. And you can clearly see it hardly took a second to wake up the screen if there is any call. So there are no issues to be seen with delay in calls. So guys, these are the few issues what you guys informed me. I personally don't see any kind of major issues on this current build of Android 11, but yes, when it comes to performance part, we slightly need more optimization. That you guys will get to know in the gaming part. Also, I have made a dedicated gaming test on this latest build. If you guys want to check that out, link of that can be found in the description below. So now let's move on to the camera part. and here you'll also get to see few pictures which i clicked after updating the device to latest version i personally found little bit of improvements when it comes to camera segment pictures clicked in good lighting conditions had way better color production if i had to compare it with the previous version of oxygen os according to me camera application has been optimized little bit it does a good job in normal lighting condition even in photos clicked with front camera in portrait mode we get to see better edge detection and good depth effect also i clicked few samples during night if we use normal mode in low light condition then camera isn't doing that great but when you switch to nightscape mode i could see more clear pictures with less noise these are side by side samples clicked in normal mode and nightscape mode but here device was struggling in low lighting condition to capture photo of a person in both the modes normal mode and nightscape mode so when it comes to nightscape photography on this particular build my OnePlus 7 is not performing that great and in this particular image you can see device have completely messed up with the skin tone so if i had to say anything about the camera on this current build yes slight improvements can be seen if comparing with the previous version of oxygen os but let's see how much more oneplus going to optimize when it comes to camera part now let's talk about the battery segment which is again a major concern for oneplus users as i said at the starting of this video that battery backup depends on tons of factors though here's the graph of battery backup and overnight battery drain what i have observed on my oneplus 7 pro on day 1 soon after i had updated my device to this latest version the screen on time which i got was 3 hours and 50 minutes with my normal usage in which google play services was consuming a lot of battery but with the second cycle that thing got fixed automatically i calibrated battery pretty well and there i got 5 hours and 2 minutes of screen on time in which i also did gaming and with third cycle I got 4 hours and 38 minutes of screen on time with little bit of gaming and normal usage. 
and if we talk about the overnight battery drain on day one i only noticed three percent of battery drain in seven hours and on day two again three percent of battery drain in seven hours so for me battery backup seems to be decent on this latest build of android 11 as per my usage now last but not the least let's also talk about the performance and as i said i made a dedicated gaming test video you guys can find that video in the description below make sure to check out that complete gaming test on oneplus 7 pro with this latest update so as you all know that oneplus 7 pro supports 90 fps with pubg mobile and i personally did a lot of gaming on this device with higher graphic settings or 90 fps i did not see much of lags while playing pubg mobile with multiple gaming on this device we also landed at hot drops and there were slight frame drops to be seen and that's normal on android devices though there are two major issues what i have observed while gaming one was overheating of the device the maximum temperature what i noticed on my oneplus 7 pro was 43 degrees celsius with an ambient temperature of 27 degrees celsius so yes heating issues are still present while gaming on oneplus 7 series with this latest update and another issue was related to gyro in which gyro was automatically moving towards the downside even if the device was kept on flat surface and this issue we had also seen on the previous updates of oxygen os 11. i also tried calibrating the gyroscope on my oneplus 7 pro but that did not fix that issue completely after every two or three matches i had to face the same issue of gyro while playing pubg mobile and here is a small gameplay which you can take a look at but make sure to check out the full gaming test that video can be found in the description below So guys, this was my complete review on this latest build for OnePlus 7 series. If I have missed out any of your issues or queries, then do let me know in the comment section below. I hope I have covered almost everything. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. Hope you guys like this video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.